Kavya Mohan of TKM College of Engineering. Here I am to demonstrate the working of tuned voltage amplifier. Tuned voltage amplifiers are widely used as intermediate frequency stage of TV and radio receivers to amplify incoming signals at a particular desired frequency. A tuned voltage amplifier amplifies the signal of desired frequency and attenuates all other frequencies. The frequency of amplification is determined by the parallel resonance circuit. The parallel LC circuit provides high impedance at the resonance, fre resonance frequency f is equal to 1 by 2 pi root of LC. The gain of the amplifier is maximum at the center frequency because the gain is directly proportional to the impedance at the collector terminal. On either side of the resonance frequency, the voltage gain falls. The transistor in the tuned voltage amplifier is biased to function in the uh, classy, classy operation. In classy operation, the collector current flows for less than half a cycle. The LC circuit produces sine wave at the collector terminal the, from the half cycles of the input signal. The Q factor or selectivity of the tuned voltage amplifier is given by the expression Q is equal to resonant frequency by bandwidth. Radio receivers use standard 455 kHz as intermediate frequency. A high frequency transistor is used in the circuit because the frequency of operation is large. This is a circuit of a tuned voltage amplifier to produce a sine wave of 455 kHz frequency. Here an input of 2V peak to peak is applied from the signal generator. A VCC of 12V is applied so that the VCE will be 10V and the voltage across the emitter resistance will be 2V. VCC is provided as 12V considering an output swing of 20%. This is the voltage divider circuit. and an IC of 2 mA is provided. Uh, a collector current of 2 mA is assumed so that the Q point is fixed at the cutoff of the load line. Uh, when the Q point is, the transistor should operate in the cutoff region so that the voltage across the base emitter terminal, the base emitter terminal will be zero. Here the tank circuit is, uh, is working as an intermediate frequency transformer which amplifies the maximum at an input frequency of 455 kHz. At all frequencies lesser and greater than 455 kHz, the tank, the gain of the amplifier will be lesser, will be lesser. The gain will be maximum at 455 kHz. Here we have assembled a circuit for the tuned voltage amplifier. So here we are available with an IFT which can tune to a 400 kilohertz frequency. And this is the voltage divider circuit. This is R1 and this is R2. These are the coupling capacitors. This is the high frequency transistor which is BF195. This is the emitter resistance and this is the bypass emitter bypass capacitor. Now we switch on the power supply and apply an input signal of Vmax 1 volt from the signal generator. We take the output, output from the collector terminal and give it to the CRO. We vary the input frequency through a range of 300 kilohertz to 500 kilohertz. We apply an input signal of frequency 300 kilohertz from the signal generator and when we measure the voltage, the Vmax is 1.5 volt. We change the input signal frequency to 350 kilohertz. We get the Vmax is 2.4 volt. Now we change the input signal frequency to 400 kilohertz. Vmax is 8.2 volt. Uh, the Vmax increases as we increase the input signal frequency. Now we change the input signal frequency to 455 kilohertz. We get the Vmax as 6.8 volt. We change the input signal frequency to 500 kilohertz. And Vmax decreases. Thus the gain decreases, we, the new Vmax is 2.8 volt. Now we plot a rough sketch of the frequency response curve of the tuned voltage amplifier. 
this is the frequency axis which is in kilohertz and this is the gain axis which is measured in decibels. When we plot the frequency response curve, it is like this. The maximum gain is obtained at the frequency 400 kilohertz. Uh, we take 3 dB, 3 decibels down from the maximum gain frequency. And we find out the lower and highest frequencies. When we take the difference of these frequencies, we get the bandwidth. Now we calculate the selectivity or the Q factor. The expression of the Q factor is resonant frequency divided by bandwidth. I hope that you got an idea about the working of the tuned voltage amplifier. Thanks for watching.